Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another gameplay of Family Feud for the PS4. This is gameplay number 9 of Family Feud for the PS4. So far I have an 8 game winning total of $121,395. I'm gonna hope to get another $20,000 in this episode right here. I said I just enjoy bringing you all Family Feud gameplay. We're gonna go with easy this time against the Lee family. This is episode number nine of Family Feud for the PS4. Good evening and welcome to Family Feud. It's been a long time since I played Family Feud, honestly. We had to be playing again. I'm Lucky McCoy. And I'm in the mood for a feud. I'm in the mood for a feud as well. Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. The Davis family and the Lee family. Our first family wants to win big. All set with some smooth grooves, it's the Lees. Our families will be battling it out to answer your surveys. Whoever scores the most points goes on to fast money for the chance to win a lot of cash and a brand new car. We're gearing up for a real showdown. Let's kick things off with our first round. I want two contestants to come and play. We want the magic number, seven answers. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. If Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on his cell phone. Your first um, what his elves. Got seven answers on the board. Oh, okay. His elves. Let's see if it's there. Elves. That's the number one He's answer. Worth answer. 27 points. What's it to be? Pass or play? We're gonna play, Lucky. Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. Give me an answer. Um, Mrs. Claus. I see where you're going with this. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Mrs. Claus. She is number answer. two. Um, maybe Rudolph. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Wait a minute. Calling his cell phone. Rudolph. Rudolph don't got no telephone. I'm tripping. Um, maybe the Easter Bunny. Okay, then. Let's see what the survey says. Easter Bunny. The Easter it's Bunny there. is there. Yes. If Santa got stuck in the chimney, name someone he might call on his cell phone. Well, if the Easter Bunny is up there, then possibly the Tooth Fairy might be up there as well. It's worth a shot. Okay. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Tooth Fairy. No, the Tooth Fairy is it's not, not there. there. Which means you can't um, Who else? I'm gonna need your guess. 
someone he might call. Um, I don't know. Might have gone with Rudolph. Shoot. <laughs> I'm, I'm all out of ideas. Okie dokie. Is it up there? Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph was actually really up there. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have you got some feud for thought? Um. I'm not sure. Um, Prancer, shoot. The root of it, then maybe then Prancer is there. Sure thing. I think that's the name one his reindeer. Is that one of the ones Prancer. Still looking for? Prancer. No, Prancer is not there. That's your second strike right there. Don't. What will you go for? Sure, a snowman, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's a good okay, sure. And our survey says snowman. No, not there. That's three strikes. Oh, no, strike three. Ooh. Numbers four, five, and right seven remain. Say, our other family has a chance to steal. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. Emergency Got services. That's and a good answer. Is it there to steal 78 points? Services. Yes, it is. You know the score. Those 78 points are there. round now it's time to see what you missed number seven homeowner okay okay what does the fifth answer look like chimney sweep okay so that was a very interesting survey I'm not gonna say who I'm rooting for but their initials are <laughs> They're still in the one's game. Time to start round two. It's time for a face-off. I need two people up front. I want you to give me four answers to this one. I am not surprised four answers on that board. Ready. A lot of questions have answer. four answers on, for this question. on the board. Name a part of your own body that you'd bite. You're up first. What do you got? Um, a lot of people bite their their lips. That's what you're going with. Survey said lips. That's number two, it's not number correct, one. But there's a better answer out there. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Name a part of your own body that you'd bite. Cheek. Interesting answer. How? Okay, okay. I Is understand. On the inside. It's up there, but it's not good enough to win the face off. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? I'm going to play. There's only two more answers up there. And I believe I got him. I hope your family can find a top answer. Let's go. I'm gonna go with tongue and finger. There's only two answers left up there. Uh. That's clearly what I just said. Tongue. Here we go then. Is that answer up there? Tongue. That's number three. Is almost clear. I'm actually surprised that wasn't number one. Think you've got a good answer? Let's hear it. Finger. Yeah. 
Maybe they, they might take this as fingernails though, but I want to go with finger. Nice. A lot of people bite their fingernails. Says finger. No. It's not up there. So this is your first strike. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Yeah. Well, maybe nails. Great answer. Ah, yes. Show me the answer. Nails. That's the nails final is answer. there. So ninety-nine points to go to me. Congrats. This round is yours. Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. Now this game could be closer, but things can still turn around. You're exactly right about that because it's anyone's game. Let's play another game. One person from each team. Come down and join me here at the front. There's six answers up there. Top six answers on the board. Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. In our survey, we asked 100 people, tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. You got in first. Doctor. We have an answer. Survey says... Doctor. That's the number one answer. Found the number one answer. Point values are worth double. Play. So seven, eight points are on the board now. We're gonna play. And they're playing again. Have you got something for us? Oh. Mom. Yeah, yeah, that's a good All right. Let's try it. Did anyone in the survey say this? Mom. It's there. Bingo. Good answer. All right, you're up. Um. Maybe a teacher. It's worth a shot. Our survey said, teacher. No, not there. Ouch. Sorry. There's good Bring news and bad news. Who might say that? Tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. Maybe your spouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said with confidence. Is it on the board? Spouse. It's there. Well done. Nice. Yes. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Oh. Maybe a child, maybe. Are you sure about that? Could it be there? It's child there. Child. Child is there. Good going. Only two more answers remain. What's your answer? Uh... Maybe a police officer, maybe. That's what you think, huh? There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Police officer. No, the police officer is not there. Another strike on the board. Um, maybe a nurse. Oh. We're still looking for two more answers. Answer accepted. 
Show me that answer. Nurse. No, that's three strikes. three strikes. Numbers two and three remain. This round is getting thrown over to the other side. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. Plumber. Got it. If a plumber is there, that's a good answer. then they steal the points. If not, I get plumber. the points. No, plumber is not there. That's not it. So I get the points. So I'm in the lead with 217 it's points. So they're 78. Looks like we missed a few answers. Let's see what they were. Let's see what's behind number three. Friend. A friend. Number two. Time to show yourself. Boss. Boss. Okay. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. Still leading this game. This is the round that's going to tell it all. The fourth round where point now, barriers are worth triple. I'm going to need one person from both families to join me up here. There's four answers for you to find. Top four answers on the board. Now the points are worth triple, so this game is still up for grabs. We asked 100 people this question. Name something thrill seekers love to ride on. You're up. I guess roller coasters, I guess. That's good. Is it up there? Show me. Roller coaster. That's the number one answer. Answer number one. Now here's the million dollar question. Play or pass? We're gonna, gonna play. play. Again? Okay. Do you have an answer? Maybe a Ferris wheel. survey says ferris wheel no a ferris wheel is not it's there not on the board. maybe a motorcycle a strike. i need an answer uh -huh. a motorcycle Feeling lucky? I want to see that answer. Motorcycle. A motorcycle is you there. Yay. Hmm, what else? Name something thrill seekers love to ride on. Maybe a truck. All right. Do we have a right answer? Truck. No, a truck is not there. Other family? I'd be getting ready if I were you. Look sharp. Another strike and you lose control of this round. Hmm. I have to thank you. I, I, I'm not actually sure. Um... Thrill seekers. If they want a thrill, then what would they ride on? Oh, this is our, um, maybe a horse. Understood. Let's take a look. Horse. No, a horse is not there. Three strikes. If they Looks get like the it, they win the game. If not, I win the game. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, 
The round is yours. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. A jet ski. That's your answer. That sounds about right. Jet ski. No, not there. I you win. That was a good answer, though. That was one heck of an answer. It's a win over here. I sure thought that was up the there. We didn't find. The fourth answer. Hang glider. A hang glider. Let's see. I would have never thought of that. Zip line. And a zip line. I would have never thought of that either. Let's I'm like jet ski was one heck school. of an answer. We have a winning family. Now you've got a chance to play fast So folks, we will see a game 10 of Family Feud. It was one heck of a game, I tell you that. Time to play fast money. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. And now we need to know who's I'm playing. I'm looking to get another twenty thousand dollars right okay, here. Okay, Captain. Which of this plucky crew do you want to play fast money with? Pick wisely. All right, it's time to play. Fast money time. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you five questions. I want you to try and give me the most popular answer. Now, if your answer is combined with your teammates. Add up to 200 points. You're gonna win the jackpot. Clock's all set. Let's go. Name a bird a chicken might pretend to be if he sees Colonel Sanders coming his way. Mm. Um. Pass. Name something some people can only do with their mouths open. He. <laughs> Give me a three-letter word that starts with the letter Z. Zoo. Name an occupation where people talk trash. Um, boxer, I guess. Some men with beards look like they have what furry animal sitting on their face? Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think about this. I'm thinking maybe a kind of a squirrel, maybe. What's this? Is that a squirrel? Or a squirrel spell? Like that. It's spelled with two eyes. I'm not 100 sure. A squirrel. Name a bird a chicken might pretend to be if he sees Colonel Sanders coming his way. A bird. So I don't know. I don't know. I can't think That's of any it. birds. We're gonna switch over now. Now it's your turn. You'll be answering the same questions. I understand the question. I just can't think of many birds right now. You do, you'll have to make another guess. Okay. Kind of sound with clock. the chaos. See that chicken is finger yeah, licking good. A chicken might um. If he sees Colonel Sanders coming his way. A pigeon. Name something some people can only do with their mouths open. I like talk. Give me a three letter word that starts with the letter Z. Zip. Name an occupation where people talk trash. Some men Pass. with beards look like they have what furry animal sitting on their face? A dog. Name an occupation where people talk trash. I don't know, telemarketing. <laughs> I don't 
think I have it this time. Okay, you've done all you can. I'm not really feeling confident with these answers. But you never know. See how they did. First up, we asked. Name a bird a chicken might pretend to be if he sees Colonel Sanders coming his way. What did you say? Did either of these get any big points? A pigeon and a hawk. We've oh, hawk actually got points. 13. What was the number one answer? A turkey, okay. That would have given you the top points. Okay, that makes 100% sure. Well, that makes 100% Some people can sense. only do with their mouths open. So here's what you said. I'm actually surprised the hawk got 13 as it eat and talk. That's a top answer. Okay. On our next question, we asked, give me a three letter word that starts with the letter Z. Your answers were zoo and zip. You ought to be happy with those answers. Oh yeah. There we go. Good going. I'm 92 points away from the $20,000. Name an occupation where people talk trash. The answers to this one. How many of our boxer and telemarketer? Ah. What was the number one answer? Athlete. An athlete. Well, that technically. Top answer. Technically, a boxer well, is an athlete. Question of the game. Some men with beards. Look like they have what furry animal sitting on their face? Well, I don't have a twenty thousand this time. And the final survey Squirrel says, and dog. Squirrel sorry, was the friends. number one answer. I got hundred and forty-two hey, points. Not cut it. Sorry. Looks like you won't get the twenty thousand dollars, but you'll still get to go away with something. We're gonna take your score from the whole game and turn it into some money. Alright folks, we'll see you next time for more feud. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Well folks, unfortunately, I did not win the twenty thousand dollars in gameplay number nine of Family Feud, but I do get five dollars per point. So I got a hundred and forty-two points, so therefore I have seven hundred and ten dollars. Add that to my current score. I have a nine game winnings total of $122,105. That's $122,105. Folks, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This is the Jalen Davis number one. And I'll see you all for the next video.